So there's this viral video going around that a lot of you guys have asked me to react to. So I'm going to react to it in today's video. But it has to do with some woman essentially complaining about the state of economics right now within the country and how she doesn't understand how anybody is living and that her and her husband together make about $120,000 a year and that that should be enough for them to do whatever the hell they want while also being able to live to the point where they're not pay tech, uh, paycheck to paycheck. But the funny thing is, it really isn't that much money, especially it depends on where you live, because if you live in any kind of metro area, $120,000 a year is barely making it, honestly, at that point, uh, which is why especially it's especially worse if that's your combined salary. So that means if one of you lose your job, it's going to get even worse for you. But we're going to pull up this particular video. This one comes to us from Finance Elves on Twitter, uh, but it is from uh, some lady called Bell Rebel on TikTok. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that but let's play the video i can't play it in its entirety because it's just too damn long so we're gonna let her speak a little bit and break it down kind of like we did in uh in our last video about the non-binary teacher activist so let's get into it y'all tell me why just why am i still living paycheck to paycheck what why why my job well before before i even know you it's probably because you can't budget i'm just i'm just being honest with you hey like a, a decent amount of money, like very median, very average, but like I should be able to live on this. This is a good salary, good salary. Not so if you and your husband make $120,000 a year, and that's assuming you guys evenly split it, right? It might not be the case, but let's just assume you're evenly splitting it. Um, That's not enough. You know, $60,000 a year per person is not what I would call a good salary. I don't even know if I would call it an average salary at this point. I would probably call it a below average salary, especially if you live in a metro area. Just being honest with you. But let's continue. Anymore, bitch. Not anymore. <laughs> like, I've started to dread going to the grocery store to buy fucking tinfoil. Because off-brand, weak-ass tinfoil is like 10 bucks. So I don't want to devalue what she's saying here because what she's saying is true, okay? Like a lot of the stuff that's going on right now in this country at the fault of many people in office right now, uh, obviously the increased cost of living is going to be one of those reflections based off the ridiculous spending that the government has been doing over the last couple of years. But the funny thing is that I would almost guarantee without even knowing this woman, and granted, I could be wrong, but I would almost guarantee that this person probably voted for the same people who are in office right now. I would, I would, I would probably promise you that. You know, I'm like nine out of ten percent, like nine out of ten sure that this person probably voted for Biden. I, I, I would guarantee that just based off the utter shock that she's having at the cost of living increase that's going on right now. Just complete shock because people who did not vote for Biden and who could honestly just know economics, even at a basic level, could have seen this coming a mile away. But uh, apparently this person is just so unbelievably shocked that her $60,000 a year assumed salary is not enough to cut it uh, where she lives anymore. So let's just let's figure it out. Let's continue. I saw an 18 pack of eggs for $13. I I walked in to the to the Walmart like a few days ago. I bought standard necessities. Also, I just want to clarify that she is, has a very animated face to the point where I think that she's doing this as some sort of like pitch for like a movie bro. I'm not really sure because the way she speaks, there's no way you speak like this on a daily basis. You're speaking with such an animated for TikTok kind of face and voice that it almost seems like disingenuine, if you guys get what I'm saying. Ziploc bags, tin foil, eggs, some some fucking lentil pasta, because I can't eat the real stuff, and that has good protein in it. A singular pound of ground beef. Milk, eggs. She's like repeating herself. Uh, I, I have no idea. I think there's something wrong with this lady. Cheese. Tell me why I walked out of there having spent $70, 70, 70, my partner and I make $120,000 combined. See, okay, so that's my problem. When I first saw this video, I thought that she made $120,000 by herself. But then when I saw the title from Finance L saying combined household income, that's when I was like, hmm... That gets a little sketchy because then if you're talking about making 120 grand a year just from YouTube alone, 
It all depends on where you live. Honestly, if you're making 120 grand living anywhere other than the major city states, then you might be perfectly fine. But if you're living in the major city states like New York, California, even Texas to a point, you're probably in Chicago, especially, you're not going to be okay. $120,000 combined salary is just going to make you decent. It's not going to make you not live paycheck to paycheck. You're probably one major expense away from being broke. That's just the truth. I think they're overhyping their $120,000 a year. You know what I mean? I really genuinely think they are because honestly, I mean, I'm not going to talk about how much I make, but it's it's just, let's just say it's way more than that. <laughs> $120,000. Dollars. That's good. That should be okay. Like, we should be set. No, no, you should not be set. And the fact that you are in your mind capping yourself at that is the reason why people don't make as much money as they possibly can because they cap themselves mentally and they say, oh, okay, once I reach here, I'm good. I'm set. No, that's not true, man. That's the problem because your salary, right? Your salary may be good for a time. Your salary may be good for a moment, but then the moment inflation happens, which is bound to happen, whether it's it's done slowly or whether it's done 8 to 9% like it was the last year, then your salary suddenly does not become good. It does not become set. And if you do not get an increase in salary for cost of living, then you're going to eventually get screwed. That's why having that mentality of just being okay, just being set is always going to keep people trapped. And that's what that's what these corporations rely on, too. Took a lot of work and effort and resume building and all the good stuff to get here. If it took you all that to get to sixty thousand dollars a year, then then I, I really don't know what to tell you. Why are we both living paycheck to fucking paycheck? Also, just as a little side note in this video, do you notice how perfect her eyebrows are, her makeup, her her jewelry, her hair? How like just immaculate her face looks. Those eyebrows they clearly are not real. Yeah, I, I I definitely think you have enough money to splurge a little bit, which is fine. You should splurge on yourself, but don't sit there pretending like you're the fucking homeless in California. This is not sustainable. We're uh, how are people gonna find a place to live? They can't. That's why renting is so high lately. How how are we supposed to continue to eat? You can't. That's why homelessness is so high recently. Like, forget about me, because we're still living. We're, we're kind of making it. Like, it's, it's not as horrible as it could be. Not if you're having a mental breakdown in your car about the state of economics that you probably voted for. But what about these, these young kids trying to start a life, trying to get out of their parents' house and be independent adults? And those young kids are currently being indoctrinated by the school system to become socialists, so they really don't care about A, moving out of their parents' house, or B, uh, trying to make enough money to sustain themselves in the future because they've been completely taken over by the liberal hive mind. I'm just saying. I, just saying. And, and they can't. They can't. Paying for college has become a joke. Requirements for... All right, so that's where the video ends for finance sales. I mean, you guys get basically the gist of the video. This woman is complaining about the state of economics. And like I said, I would almost guarantee without knowing her that she probably at some point in her life voted for the same exact uh, issues that she is currently experiencing. These people need to stop voting on the fact of, oh, this person is good, this person is bad, because they try to simplify that as best as they can to try to make people vote off emotion and not vote off policies and facts. You need to get your shit together. And that's not saying that uh, vote right and that's always right. No, I'm just saying look into your candidates, look into your local state candidates especially, and start making some changes or try to make some changes. Encourage your friends to make some changes because it's very easy to get into a hive mindset and... Uh, this is what's going to happen as time continues to go on and the country continues to get worse and worse because it will. It's going to get worse before it gets better. It always does. And this is going to continue to get worse because we have another, what, two years of this shit at minimum. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment. Let me know what you thought of today's story. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.